Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins with the protagonist Victor, with his friend Darcy, who tells him how his life has changed since becoming a father. Soon, they receive a call, and are ordered to go to the house of their boss, Alphonse. Once there, they find a refrigerator in the basement, and when they open it, they find the body of one of Alphonse's henchmen, Paul. In addition, they find a note with the number 719, and a key to open a briefcase, where there are photos taken of Alphonse, who has been receiving such threats for some time, and this time he has an idea of who they might be. He goes to the club of a friend of his, Harry, but he does not know anything about it. However, Alphonse discovers that Harry's handwriting is almost identical to that of the note, and shoots him in the head. Subsequently, a violent gunfight breaks out between Alphonse's men and the Jamaicans. Alphonse gets cornered, but Victor saves his life, killing three men single-handedly, earning his trust. One day, Victor looks out the window, and notices that his neighbor, Beatrice is watching him. She is a mysterious young woman, who lives in the apartment across the street from him, with her mother. Beatrice begins to contact Victor, and show interest in him. She leaves him a note with her number in his mailbox. He calls her, and she says they should get to know each other better. On their first date, they begin to get to know each other better. But then she asks him to go for a drive, and reveals her true intentions. She has a video of Victor killing a man, and wants him to kill the drunk driver who disfigured her in a car accident, otherwise, she will go to the police. She starts to go crazy, and keeps telling him to go kill the man. To shut her up, he pulls out his gun, and accidentally shoots at the window, and drives away quickly. Arriving at an intersection, she tells him that he will have to accept her offer, or kill her, and gets out of the car. When she returns home and picks up a newspaper, we find out that the drunk driver has been locked up for only three weeks. The next day, Victor and an old friend, Gregor, go to an arms dealer, from whom they buy a sniper rifle. Gregor asks him why he is still working with Alphonse after so long, if his goal is to kill him. We learn the truth about Victor's past, he has infiltrated the criminal empire run by the ruthless boss, with the goal of making him pay for killing his wife two years back, after his men accidentally killed his daughter as well. Next, Victor goes to an abandoned ship, where he gives food and drink to a man he has kidnapped. He has kidnapped the brother of Albanian boss Ilir, who is involved in helping Alphonse eliminate Victor's family. His plan is to put the Albanians and Alphonse's men together, so he can more easily eliminate them. Later, he visits Beatrice to talk about the man he is to kill. He has been following him for a couple of days, and tells her that he still needs time. Meanwhile, Beatrice's mother shows Victor photos of Beatrice before the accident, a beautiful girl. Next, Victor overhears a conversation between Alphonse and one of his business partners, Lon. Lon scolds him for killing Harry and his men. In the process, Victor positions himself with a sniper on a building, to kill Alphonse. Lon reveals that he received Alphonse's photos, and a note addressed to him. In addition, he reveals he received a key, and asks him if he knows anything about it. When Alphonse reads the two notes together, he realizes that it was not Harry who threatened him, but someone else. Meanwhile, Beatrice is in the car, and spots Victor on the building. Lon tells Alphonse that he can no longer manage their property, as his dangerous situation may put the business at risk. Darcy investigates the source of the threats, and tells his men to warn Alphonse that he is in danger. As Alphonse leaves the restaurant, Victor kills his driver, and sends him a message, asking if he has received the key. Soon, Victor begins to flee, as Alphonse's men try to capture him. After they enter the building, Victor wraps a rope around a henchman's neck, and throws him out the window. Killing others, Victor tries to flee down the street, and Beatrice arrives in a car to help him. He climbs aboard, and Alphonse's henchmen start following them. A few blocks later, she parks, and he starts kissing her when the men approach the car. Darcy opens the door, and Victor confusingly states he just arrived. Darcy and the others go to Alphonse, to tell him the shooter escaped in a cab. Alphonse orders them to find out where the cab is headed, and leaves. Afterwards, Victor leaves with Darcy, who is determined to help Alphonse, in order to move up in the criminal organization. Next, Alphonse uses the key to open a mailbox, where he finds the missing pieces of a specific photo. When Victor returns home, he calls Beatrice. She pays him a visit, and he asks if she followed him. Beatrice denies it but claims that she helped him. As they converse, Victor tells how Alphonse killed his family, and now he wants revenge. She asks him if there is any progress with killing the man who ruined her face, but he says not yet. One evening, he waits for the guilty man to leave the house, so he can sneak inside his property. Elsewhere, 
Alphonse discovers a hidden microphone in his phone. The next morning, Victor goes to an abandoned warehouse, the headquarters of Alphonse's gang. He goes up to the attic, to check the explosives he has installed, and at that moment, Alphonse and his men enter. After finding a problem with the remote control, he comes down from the penthouse, and joins the others. Afterwards, Victor contacts Gregor, who tells him that he has to be near the depot, to detonate everything, or else he has to change systems. Victor tells him he does not have time to change everything, so he will have to risk it. Meanwhile, Beatrice visits him, and discovers his room, where he is planning everything. He reveals that he fought in the war. When she learns that he is risking death for revenge, she becomes upset, as she feels something for him. Next, Ilir, the leader of the Albanian gang receives a package, with a picture of his kidnapped brother. He, just like Alphonse, has also received a family photo of Victor, which must be pieced together. Later in the evening, Darcy rings Victor's intercom, and reveals he has found the sniper who wanted to kill Alphonse. The two go to the place where a taxi driver took Paul, before he was killed. However, they find nothing useful, and Victor tells Darcy he has to leave. At night, Victor goes to the abandoned warehouse, but encounters Alphonse and his men. Alphonse, knowing that the threats are coming from someone in his gang, sets a trap, so that anyone who shows up at the safe house to talk to him will be identified as the traitor. When Victor shows up, Alphonse threatens him, saying he will find the thing the threatening man loves most, and burn it. However, because Victor has earlier saved his life, Alphonse is reluctant to believe that Victor is the traitor, and does nothing. Later, Victor goes to his hostage, and asks him to make a video in exchange for freedom, to say that he is being held hostage by Alphonse. Victor then frees the rats, and lets them eat him, but changes his mind and shoots him to end his suffering. Later, he meets Beatrice, and asks her to send Ilir the tape, to make it look like Alphonse betrayed him and kidnapped his brother. Victor meets with Darcy, who is still investigating Paul's death. Darcy reveals that Paul was looking for the grave of a Hungarian man, but he still does not know why. Next, Victor meets Gregor, and reveals that Darcy has almost found the grave, so they are about to find out. Gregor tells him he still has time to escape, but he knows that it is difficult for Victor to leave everything behind. One day, as Beatrice walks down the street, some young boys throw stones at her, and she falls, injuring her head. When Victor visits her and sees the wound, she simply says that she fell. She informs him that she sent the tape to Ilir. When she is about to leave, he invites her to another appointment, which she accepts. Darcy calls Victor, and reveals that the man threatening Alphonse and kidnapping Ilir's brother may be a Hungarian, Laszlo Karak, the man they believe they killed, along with his family. The point is that Victor is actually Laszlo Karak, and he changed his name to avoid the suspicions of the gang. In the evening, Victor goes to pick up Beatrice for a date. He informs her that he finally plans to kill the man who ruined her face. He also confesses he doesn't love her when she admits to having feelings for him. He states they cannot have a future together. They arrive at the bar that the drunk man often frequents, and when he leaves, Victor shoots him. After he is finished, Victor takes Beatrice back home. Meanwhile, Alphonse and his men follow Darcy to the cemetery, where they discover Laszlo's grave. The next day, Ilir receives a package. Alphonse calls him to ask if he is sure Laszlo is dead. Beatrice receives a letter saying Victor did not kill the driver so they could spend more time together, knowing the psychological effect the murder would have on her. Elsewhere, Victor prepares explosives in the gang's warehouse, and creates a lead for the arrival of the Albanians and Alphonse. Darcy arrives at Victor's house, to pick him up, but since he does not answer, he smashes the door and enters the house. Beatrice reveals on a phone call to Victor that she did not send the tape, because she did not want to see Victor die. She tells him they can run away together. Darcy discovers Victor's true intentions by investigating his apartment. When Beatrice returns home, Darcy subdues her. He takes her phone, and calls Victor, Laszlo, saying everyone is waiting for him at Alphonse's. Victor heads to Alphonse's house, where the Albanians are also staying. As all the phones in the house begin to ring, Victor crashes into the house with his car. Subsequently, a firefight breaks out. Victor kills all the henchmen in the ensuing firefight, except Darcy, whose life he spares. Victor makes his way to where Beatrice is held captive, on the top floor by Alphonse and Ilir. She escapes their surveillance, while Victor distracts them by shooting, and begins playing the tape on a computer. When Ilir hears the tape, he points his gun at Alphonse, who he believes has betrayed him. Alphonse raises the gun to defend himself, and angrily tells him to lower it, but they both end up shooting each other. As Victor flees with Beatrice, Darcy confronts them with a gun raised. 
When asked if he spared Darcy because he has a wife and child, Victor says no, because they have him. Darcy lowers his gun and allows the two to leave. Victor and Beatrice return home on the subway and kiss. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.